So as you just saw, I stuffed up big time today and managed to rear end a guy in front of us. It was a really nice day up until that point, and then after that point, once I got out of my bad mood about an hour later, it became a better day again. But yeah, as you saw, that was not ideal. I've been riding throughout my life on and off. That's my third time riding in Thailand and my first time crashing. So Evie organised this really great day, which was... And then he tried to kill me. I did kind of try to kill her. <laughs> I felt like I flew like right up into the air and everything went in slow motion. My life didn't flash before my eyes, but I'm okay. I got a tiny little cut on my ankle. <laughs> yeah, luckily, luckily not too bad. Lucky. The scooter's not too bad either. But yeah, Evie organised with a group of people for us to do basically a big group ride. It was a group cruise. We ended up being on the scooter for like, or well, out and about for like eight hours, eight plus hours today. And that was what, two hours in maybe? Two hours in. Hour and a bit um, in. But yeah, so how it happened was in Thailand, red lights don't mean what they mean in Australia and New Zealand. You don't have to stop for red lights, especially if there's no traffic coming. Please don't go. take our advice. This yeah. is not legal advice. <laughs> I would now recommend stopping at red lights. <laughs> so I was watching the rest of the, like, the crews go through and I wasn't watching the guy in front of me. I was watching the intersection, making sure that nothing was coming out and that I was kind of good to go through the red light. So I'm looking ahead at this and I look up and he's already completely stopped in front of me. I sh probably should have tried to swerve, but I didn't. Hindsight, I mean, I fretted about it for a couple of hours afterwards, so I just hit both brakes, and as you'll see after this clip, we hit him, go flying. We didn't do too much damage to his bike. His bike actually ended up worse than ours, unfortunately. I say bike, but really, it's a scooter. Um, his scooter ended up worse than ours. So we've definitely got some stuff to fix. I snapped the brake pedal. I smashed the front head, like, completely to smithereens, so we'll fix those. Not a bad, if that's no, our only crash in oh, Thailand, hopefully. touch wood. Touch wood, there's no wood. <laughs> <laughs> Touch wood, that's our only crash in Phuket but and we get away with it. Besides that, we won't take too much away from how awesome the day was. Um, I really recommend if you're travelling solo, uh, if you go into like, ex, like Phuket expat groups or Phuket local groups, you can actually, that's exactly how I met someone and then they told me to come on the ride. So you just jump onto the group and you message and just say, hey, like I'm in Phuket, I'm looking to make friends or tell them your whatever your life story if you want uh, and people will reach out to you and we just met the most amazing group of people today for people from the UK US Australia Norway, New Zealand, Norway. <laughs> even as the first but the person that actually organized the group was in this he was first introduced himself as an Aussie but then he later said hey, oh, I'm actually a Kiwi it's easier that way and then when he found out that Sam's also a Kiwi that lives in Aussie in Australia he he was ecstatic because like yeah, <laughs> he was. Yeah, he was pretty happy. You get to meet really cool people. So, like, if you are solo traveling and you haven't solo traveled before, it's actually really easy to make friends here. Um, you just got to put yourself out there a little bit. Yeah, the guy I hit was the Norwegian she just talked about. He was actually really nice. We actually ended up hanging out with him for the rest of the day. He actually was the one who made me feel a little bit better. Yeah. Um, he actually apologized as well. He's like, oh, I should have gone on that red light instead of hitting the brakes. But it was 100% my fault. Like, if you, he stopped at a red light Legally, and I drove, and I drove into him, yeah. so. Yeah, I was riding a bit too Thai style for my own good and we definitely paid for it, but luckily not too badly. So, overall fun day. We went to amazing beaches, beaches and lookouts that we'd never even been to. Like, we hadn't done the whole... There was nothing we did today. We met at Patong and that was the only thing we had done ourselves. We went all around the north of the Phuket Island to amazing beaches, lookouts, then we finished at this really amazing beach. You know, I think it was called? Lane Cove. It was called Lane Cove and there's a little restaurant just out on the beach and it was like just pristine. Now we did have a smoothie worth seven and a half times our normal smoothies <laughs> but it did taste Besides really good. That, they're like are you guys going to eat anything? We're like uh, okay. <laughs> no. I'll well, wait for my 50 baht meal later <laughs> but I'm not going to say anything. But the, even the smoothie was like pretty incredible. It mate. was a damn good smoothie. Yeah. <laughs> it was Instagram worthy. Yeah so. no it was it was a really nice day and, and we're going to go back snorkeling on one of, the, um, one of the beaches that we found. So um, We found a little cove that. that was super secluded. There's a bit of a bush walk down to it like we're at the lookout above it. So now I'll actually show you guys the rest of the crash. I kind of teased you a bit in the very opening second with just the very impact. So now I'll show you us coming around the corner, wiping into poor Norwegian John. Like sending poor Evie up into the air. Yeah, I went over the My handlebars. <laughs> Evie went flying. She did break fall off the side, which is pretty lucky just though. Jiu-jitsu. Jiu-jitsu. Yes, I actually <laughs> break fall. That was actually my first time Probably in life. Saved my arm from yeah. breaking, actually. That was my so. first time in life driving into something. I've been T-boned on a scooter before, but I've never caused a crash, so I was feeling pretty shitty about Neither. that. I'll now cut to the crash. <laughs> you 
okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. You alright? No, I'm okay. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, oh. okay? Yeah, yeah, that's my fault. Yeah. We just watched the crash in real time. Let's watch it in slow mo. So we're coming around the corner. You can see already the light is red, and the guy in front of the guy I end up hitting goes through it. The light was red for most of the group, so we had 20 around 20 riders with us. They all went through the light. So I'm busy watching the intersection. I'm looking ahead like an idiot. Yep, the intersection's all good. He's seen this red light and he goes, or oh, it's hard to tell, but there's actually a guy from our group already on the far side of the intersection now. And this red light has been red since I came around the corner. So I'm looking to the left there. I'm actually looking a little bit out to the left because that's where the intersection comes from. No one coming at all. I'm still looking left. And it's about now that Evie screams at me, I hit the brakes. And you can see me just charge up the ass of this poor guy. Boom. From here, if we watch it real slow, you look at my shadow, I am well over the handlebars. I go flying over. If you look in between his scooter and my scooter, you actually see my headlight fall into pieces there. Me slap the ground and go sliding off the side. First thing I do, look over, find Evie. Luckily, she's basically fine. Scrape on the ankle, like she said. And then as I look, you can see she actually landed on grass. So we're lucky that we were so close to the edge. John, the Norwegian guy whose scooter I hit, he actually managed to stay upright. You saw a little bit earlier in the video, as he went over, he kind of rode the scooter on its side, but that's why his scooter ended up worse because he got a good amount of road rash. And then on the left-hand side here, you can see a nice Thai man who actually pulls over and basically makes sure we're all right, helps me get the scooter back up. So definitely not something I recommend trying in Thailand, driving the back of someone. But like we said earlier in the video, if this is as bad as our scooter crash gets, we'll take it.